Hello you lovely infinite beings right onto your path of exploring the infinite. Today's video is all about dropping that dopamine baseline. I'm going to give you three major techniques or set of activities that you can apply in order for you to reclaim back control over your life, in order for you to reduce your dopamine dependency and be able to live intentionally and consciously to function out of pure free will rather than your egoic or dopaminergic needs and that even aids in aligning you with being in control of your own life with being a creator of your reality because now you're able to function out of pure intention rather than biological needs and so it unlocks lots and lots of your unfulfilled potential that's also otherwise known as dopamine detox you see, oftentimes we just plunge ourselves deeply into highly rewarding experiences, into experiences that releases the high levels of dopamine into our brains. And so we learn to only expect that we become demotivated by anything that does not provide that instant gratification. These things could be things that aid towards your purpose, things that help you unlock your full potential, things that you know quite well could lead to your dream life but you cannot work upon it because you've set the bar so high and now you cannot reclaim yourself and so you oftentimes it even leads to much more suffering and frustration because you know in the back of your head that you could be worth this much but you're unable but to claim this much of your value because of your dopaminergic needs and it even aligns you with being in control of your with being out of control of your life with being a non-active creator because even if you're not consciously aware your body is, knows your subconscious knows that you are driven by your dopamine needs that you are seeking these rewarding experiences and you cannot live without them and anything meaningful won't provide you that instant rewarding feelings and it it requires patience, it requires trust, it requires commitment, determination. And so these things are unaligned with high dopamine release. And so you're going to be only replicating experiences that are not the things you want in your life. And even your brain set is going to be aligned with it. It knows that it, it cannot achieve these kind of things. And whatever you believe, you become whatever you believe you become and so when you don't believe that you can achieve these things even if it's subconscious even if consciously you think you can when it's subconsciously that you cannot then you cannot actually manifest these kind of experiences in your life i've just recently released a video that explains all the dopamine control the extent to which it could be controlling us and what it means when this happens and all of these questions what am, why am i not able to pursue this why am i not able to achieve this kind of thing it's all it could be all traced back to our dopamine needs and the video is very informative and it took me well deserved over 30 minutes so it's very important for you to watch if you haven't because it resonated with many of you and so if you haven't watched it I'm going to be leaving the links down in the description make sure to watch it after this one to get the full picture now moving on first thing is first the first method or set of activities that you can apply for you to lower that dopamine baseline is to quite simply lower your indulgence in high dopamine release experiences in high rewarding experiences you need to gradually ever so gradually and that's the key here small changes lead to big changes and with all of the methods and techniques that i'm going to mention small changes it's all gradually gradual is the key here because if you shock your system into big changes it could collapse it could very easily collapse you could very easily relapse because you're trying remember here that you're trying to reverse years of conditioning years of expectations years of tolerance and so you cannot expect to reverse it all at once and even this could be driven by dopamine by by being by getting that dopamine rush of being able to reverse something and then again you get stuck into that dopamine cycle dopamine seeking cycle and what i mean by decreasing your indulgence it could be in the form of time it could be in the form of the number of activities that provide you this high dopamine levels 
it could be in different sorts but mainly is to start bit by bit decreasing your dependency on these activities start taking them out of your system bit by bit and that's gonna require self-discipline it's gonna require immense self-discipline as i said you're reversing years of conditioning and years of expectations and standards so self-discipline is the key here and i have a whole video about self-discipline i'm gonna also leave the link in the description it's very important to know all of these things to realize what what's possible what you can do to realize that because everything is related and nothing just works linearly or directly individually and so with self-discipline you could do things like making it harder for you to indulge in these kind of experiences if it's if if what does it to you is you're binging on on social media or screen time or it's binge eating or it's uh, even hardcore things like uh, alcohol or drugs or porn or if it's just hanging out and drinking with friends you know you start making it bit by bit harder on you to actually get there maybe keep your phone or your laptop away from you if it's screen time that's you're trying to get away from or maybe disconnect from the internet disconnect your router and to if you want to use your laptop or your phone for other reasons or maybe if it's someone that actually pulls you into these kind of experiences if someone is the reason you are triggered to actually indulge in high rewarding experiences then maybe you know vlog them or ask them not to call you or just disconnect your phone if that's possible you know even even if sleeping start doing things against your natural flow of pleasure feeling of being feeling good you know bit by bit that's gonna reverse what the dopamine is going to expect you know it's gonna because these are all neural pathways in your head that are being that are expecting to be met every day and the, with every day the, the addiction is further uh, down so what you're trying to do here is to reverse those neural pathways to gradually tell them that you're not that this is not your standard anymore that this is not your life anymore that you you're gonna wake up you're gonna start waking up before what's feels good to you because if you wake up very late every day and that's how you're feeling good and that's how you feel that you're completed then you start gradually decreasing your in, like decreasing your wake up time but the thing is this doesn't work by itself and in order for you to start removing these experiences from your life you need to replace them with other sorts of experiences and with all kind of techniques or or activities that I'm going to mention gradual is the key here you know small changes is the key with all of them so keep that in mind the whole time so the next the second technique or set of activities that you can apply is grounding and ascending experiences and yes those are experiences that helps you ground yourself to earth to nature to the natural rhythm of things yeah and also connect to your what's beyond connect to what's beyond the 3d connect to your infinite self to your source energy and what that does is that it gradually detaches you from the ego and simultaneously the ego needs because part of why you're very reliant on dopamine and your egoic needs is because you're very attached to the ego experience you're very attached to the ego emotions and feelings and what it's expecting and what the standards it set is and so the more you detach from this ego and connect to a higher meaning to a higher purpose and ground to the natural rhythm of things on this earth the more you're going to be able the more it's going to be easier for you to let go of this dopamine dependency these kind of activities are things like meditation like yoga like even exercising like breath work like going out in nature like just having a walk in the forest or taking a mountain hike having a deep meaningful conversation with someone that truly means something to you and the thing is you're doing here is that the, in all of these kind of experiences and all these kind of activities there's also some natural dopamine releasing and so what you're trying to do here is to balance is to try to release dopamine through some natural activities through activities that doesn't necessarily provide instant rewarding feelings or like high dopamine levels but it still does provide you with the, your dopamine needs because you cannot completely deplete yourself of dopamine in a at a sudden you know it's gonna shock your system and it's gonna 
push you right back into relapse because you're not used it's something as i said gradual is the key here and so these experiences they're gonna make you feel elevated without necessarily building any neural pathways towards dopamine dependency you're gonna even just like i said walk in nature even just guard gardening you know these small things that are gonna make you feel good yet they add value they make you feel elevated they connect you to a higher purpose and so whenever you're not doing them you're not gonna feel as if your life doesn't mean anything because this is still adds meaning into your life you're not gonna be demotivated to work on other things because they don't provide you this high dopamine levels that deplete your motivation they're gonna make you even feel more motivated because now you're gonna feel a connection you're gonna feel connection to the life to universe to the universe and to earth and so this motivates you to even work more in your goals to pursue more of your potential to unlock that infinite potential and like I said, small changes. So you may start if it's exercising or if it's meditation or if it's uh, gardening or whatever it is, you may start with small periods of time. You can set you know, yourself uh, five minutes a day or 10 minutes a day, and then you can even increase it, you know, set uh, a set increase period every week and work on increasing that until it becomes just a habit here you see we, we're including even the habit and behavioral change that's one of the things in like the social cognitive theory that i speak often about on this channel which is one of the behavioral change models in psychology which states that in order for you to do successfully do something then you need to change a behavior then you need to know you need to believe in yourself being able to complete that change to change that behavior and it's even it's very closely related to this whole dopamine thing because it was and i really like it because it was one of the very first um, behavioral change theories to actually include us being active to, to having an active role in how our life is going rather than just being a product of what our environment is, of what our society is, of what our mechanism or deeply conditioned preset software is. It, it dictated that you are as involved in everything that happens in your life based on your belief, based on your self-beliefs, based on your environment and who you let go, based on your past experiences. So you want to stop living out of your past experiences because your past experiences are only going to replicate more of these. You need to break those neural pathways. You need to stop hanging out around those people. You need to stop doing these kind of things because every time you do them, the addiction is made stronger and you don't want to do this and so with these experiences with these grounding and connecting experiences you're gonna feel that you don't need that dopamine rush as much anymore because you're now you're finding meaning in something else you're filling in the gap you know those artificial dopamine releasing activities they actually compete with dopamine receptors in your head to with imposter actually with imposter molecules in your head versus the natural releasing of your dopamine so it fries your brain in a sense but to know more about that you can watch my previous video about dopamine and finally the third technique or activities that goes hand in hand with what i've previously mentioned they all work simultaneously they all work best when they're all included at once and this method is to start working on boring things that add value in your life to start working towards your purpose small bits small things even though you might not feel like it at all might you might not feel as motivated but you start you start putting in the work bit by bit in order to yet again fill the gap of time to fill the boredom of decreasing this, the, the experiences I mentioned in the first method. And these things could be things like uh, reading, like watching a documentary, like learning a skill, maybe it's uh, photography for you, maybe it's video editing, maybe it's graphic design, maybe it's just design, whatever it is that you feel as if it's part of your calling or is aligning you with your purpose, then you start working on these 
things that might feel tedious at first because now you're creating the new pathways the neural pathways that are gonna dictate what's gonna happen in your life next that are gonna align you with different things because you've been aligned with only being out of control you've been aligned with things that releases high dopamine levels in your head and these are pleasurable experiences and so to be aligned with meaningful experiences then you start putting on those small changes things now you're telling your brain and now you start even believing more that i'm able to do these things i'm able to achieve my purpose and then your whole brain set your whole cells bodily cells even changes and with that of course your energy so you start reading and even for the first day you can make it just five or ten minutes or you start waking up early if you think that aligns you with your purpose maybe your purpose in, in what you see your dream life is you would be having to wake up early whether it's if you're a gardener whether if it's your business owner and you need to re- to check up on these things on whatever thing waking up early so you need to start doing these things maybe it's your body maybe you want to exercise you have to maybe it's, it's something muscular about working out so whatever that is you start putting in work towards that thing bit by bit and it's going to feel boring and it's going to be very hard at first but like i said self-discipline is the key here as well and small changes and so with that you're going to be aligning your new light you're going to be aligning with your truth with your higher self with your next upgrade with the highest version of yourself because that's your calling and now you're starting to put in the work and now you're aligning with being a creator of your life you're not just doing whatever you feel like whatever your body calls you to, to do or your egoic needs is asking you to do but rather you're intentionally and consciously going against that to do something else and that means you are creating a life for yourself you're creating life in your eyes and what that does is that it starts the universe reacts to this kind of energy your source energy reacts to this kind of energy by giving you whatever you want by manifesting experiences in your life that were done as if they were done in your eyes and so you start being a co-creator you start being a creator of your reality now you're aligned with with the highest kind of things with purpose with meaning with love with enlightenment because once you let go of this dopamine once you let go of your dopamine needs once you overcome them you're gonna start awakening all these kind of positive feelings within you and that's gonna align you even with more positive things and they're gonna raise your vibrational frequency they're gonna raise your frequency and that you can imagine is gonna attract lots and lots of meaningful purposeful things in your life but always remember that small changes is the key here gradual is the key term here because as i said if you shock your system it's gonna fall right back into a relapse if you make it about the dopamine if you start working on something and then you get too excited and then you just become too overwhelmed by the end result and you stop caring about the small steps about the journey then you're bound to fall right back into relapse because the end results could not be fulfilled that easily could be a very long long journey and so if that's your only thing you're caring about you're you're bound to relapse at some point or another and so always keep it on the back of your mind that small changes makes difference you know i don't need to jump all this way i don't need to compare myself with others and see where they are on their part of the journey because they've got you don't know what everyone else has gone through and so just be with yourself and start treating yourself you know better start loving yourself more for being able to do uh, do these things to put in this work and so you're gonna you're gonna reward yourself with with good treatment with self-care and these things are gonna unlock more and more of your infinite potential with that being said i wish you the best of luck in your endeavors and if you not subscribed yet please consider liking this video and subscribing and check all my other videos they're very important Thank you.